If you wanna make a no-bake cookie, then this is the recipe you are going to love. It's a peanut butter no-bake cookie, no chocolate, just peanut butter. They're the best cookies in the world. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make no-bake peanut butter cookies without any cocoa. I have the chocolate peanut butter ones um, on here and I'm gonna link those, but um, these are just peanut butter. My mom said they were the best cookies she's ever eaten. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Okay, we're gonna start off with butter. So you're gonna add a half of a cup of unsalted butter um, into a saucepan. Um, I like to dice the butter just so it melts faster. And you're going to heat this over medium heat until that butter is melted. Um, it'll just take a minute or so, get it all nice and melted. Once the butter is completely melted, you're going to add in one and three quarters cups of granulated sugar and a half of a cup of non-fat milk. You could also use regular milk if you prefer. And then just stir this together until it's nice um, and combined until the sugar kind of mixes in with that milk and that butter. And then you're just going to cook this um, over medium, medium low heat um, until it boils. And once it boils, you're gonna cook it until it reaches about 230 degrees on a candy thermometer or an instant reach thermometer is what I'm using here and it's really important to get it up to that stage this will take a few minutes um, if you're not using a thermometer but a thermometer is the best way to check it um, if you're worried about them not setting up um, it's because they haven't gotten to the proper temperature so 230 degrees is the magical number once um, that is achieved then you're going to remove this pan from the heat and you're going to add in a half of a cup of creamy or crunchy peanut butter and a teaspoon of vanilla extract along with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Um, if you are using salted butter, you can omit the salt. Go ahead and stir that all in until the um, peanut butter is all melted into that mixture. And once that happens, then you're gonna add three cups of quick cooking oats. Um, quick cooking oats um, work best in this. If you only have whole oats, go ahead and make your own by processing the um, whole oats in a blender or a food processor just for a few seconds, a few pulses to make quick oats. And then you're gonna stir that in, the mixture will be nice and loose as you can see. And then you're going to drop these, um, I'm making two tablespoon size cookies, but you could make them um, one tablespoon, you'll make a double the amount. Um, drop these onto a prepared baking sheet, um, you want to use a silp hat or wax paper or parchment and just push, uh, scoop these onto it. They'll kind of fall a little bit, flatten a little bit. And then you're just going to let these um, kind of solidify, harden um, for just a few hours. And then they're ready to eat. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make no-bake cookies. They set up perfectly. They are soft on the inside and a little bit crunchy and those oats give it a lot of texture. Um, you are gonna love these. They're perfect all summer when you don't wanna turn on your oven, but they're great all year too. Leave me a comment and let me know what other no-bake recipes you want and keep watching for even more desserts.